Gilly Blix is among the last of his kind. He's been working in the Krefeld textile industry for over half a century. And in recent years, he's seen it decline steadily. I came to Krefeld in 1958. Back then, there were still 35 companies making neckties. Today, we have one and a half. The small-scale necktie producers are literally hanging on for survival. Their large arrivals relocated to Asia long ago. Like the rest of the Ruhr Valley, Krefeld is undergoing a painful transition. It's been forced to find new export-oriented industries. Its main selling point, direct access to river and air transportation links. Eckhard Prehn works for the city's economic development agency. He's hoping more big-name international corporations will set up shop here. The industrial park still has plenty of space to fill. They might be companies from all over Europe or the US. China is getting really interesting, of course, and it's looking good on that front, too. So he's already talking with Chinese investors? We're negotiating right now and expect something to happen here soon. He can't reveal any more? No, some things have to remain confidential. Fluitronics moved to Krefeld five years ago. One reason was the abundance of skilled workers. The midsize company gets 10 qualified applicants for every vacancy. Krefeld remains an attractive location for high-tech companies like this. We make control elements for vehicle hydraulic applications. For example, the garbage trucks you see every day. For instance, this device here. It's fitted onto garbage trucks and determines how the garbage bins are emptied. Krefeld can boast of many success stories. But still, one-tenth of its workforce is unemployed. Today, textiles are mostly produced in Asia. But there is one big exception, technical textiles, with applications from facades to football boots. Covering this market niche helped one company weather the storm. Vereinigte Seidenwebereien, for Seidark for short, converted from neckties to industrial fabrics. Throughout its history, the company was quick to see which materials were key to new markets. Today we have glass fiber fabrics, aramid fibers, a variety of coating materials, fluoropolymers, better known as Teflon from your frying pan. And we use them for coating our materials as well. These materials are proving increasingly popular for large-scale architectural projects. This is the Olympic basketball arena for the 2012 games coming up in London. It incorporates a fabric, so that means it still counts as a textile product. Once the Olympics are over, the arena will be dismantled and the Krefeld-made fabric in its frame will be recycled.